and good afternoon and welcome to another edition of Small Wood Workshop. In today's uh, video, it's only a bit short video, but I've got an unboxing. As you can see behind me, I've received a big box. So it's from Axminster Tools. So without further ado, we'll get on with it. Right. See, Axminster Tools on the box, two packages. This is the big box, which we'll come to in a minute. As this box, this uh, had an envelope. What's in there? I've ordered a scroll saw. Uh, it's only their cheaper scroll saw. It's not their most expensive trade models. Can't afford that. It's quite a lot of money. Plus, I don't know if I'm going to get into it that well. But I wanted a half decent beginner scroll saw, so I've gone to Axminster and it's come today. So I'll have a look in the small package to see what we're getting here. Trusty knife. Open it up. Well, what we got in here? Oh. Uh, invoice. Scroll saw starter pack from Pegasus. And it's in another envelope. So I am. Thanks, mister. Well, I've packed pack your stuff really well. What have we got in here? Oh, here we, here we go. Scroll saw blades. Oh, they're very thin, aren't they? We've got number th what we've got? Number one, number three, number five, number seven. Number five looks like a is it what they call a skip tooth? Ah, skip tooth blades are here. And number threes. It's, a, it's quite a good pack. They give you for free when you make your purchase. All right, onto the main, the main item. Let's unpack it. See what we've got. Straps off. It is. Really well packed by the looks of it. Another box. Looks like it's already been opened. It's been packaged twice. What have we got in here? That piece of cardboard, sorry, in the way. Put that down. Hmm. Styrofoam. Take that out. Guard. Looks like a bag bag of parts for the air blower. Uh, oh, some more. Ah, they look like the uh, pinless guide adapters and two Allen keys. Anything else in, in the box? Not many workbench, we'll have a look. Mm, no. Right, now to the main event. I'm going to have to put this on the floor and get it out that way. It's heavy. Oh, goodness, it's heavy. Anything else in the box? Oh, the instructions. Wrap it. Looks like there's a blade already in there. This looks pretty cool. If you can see that, I'll we'll have to bring the camera down. Let me get all the grease proof paper off it and unwrap it, and we'll get back to you. Right, I'm just freehanding the camera at the moment. As you can see, this is my new scroll saw. It's unboxed. I've put the little bit together that needs putting together, the blower pipe. And the guard that's on it, you can see. I'm impressed for the money. It's solid cast iron at the bottom. It's got a cast iron table. I mean, I've cleaned all the packing grease that was off it on it. 
comes fitted with a blade that's tensioned already plus you get some more blades so I'm just going to put the camera back on its tripod and then we'll see how it cuts right I've got some timber just a bit of scrap timber and we'll see how the scroll saw cuts first off let's put a mask on and then we'll have a go Well, very quiet. Right, that cut through that very easily. Um, it's not a pattern, I know, but we'll see. We'll do a bit of a curve on it and see, see how it cuts a curve. Okay. Well, it cuts curves very well. And that's just the blade that's come in it. Um, I'm sure it's tensioned enough. It makes the, when you thumb it, makes the nice ring. Right, my conclusions on the new Axminster, well, the Axminster 16 inch hobby bandsaw, uh, sorry, scroll saw. It's damn good value for money. Uh, there are people that said on the reviews on the site of, that they weren't impressed with it. It didn't take pinless blades. Well, it doesn't take pinless blades straight away. It does take pin blades, but as you've seen when I unpacked it, you get the adapters, a pack of adapters in it, two adapters and the two Allen keys to tighten it in. And they fit in on, onto the two arms. How they do that, I don't know because I haven't uh, had a good look at uh, how to do that. I've just had a quick unpacking of it, quick couple of cuts. So far, I think it's good. I think it's a damn good saw. Am I going to make use of it? Absolutely. I'm going to get a bit of arty stuff as well if I can. That'll probably be on my next build, build video. I'm going to do one of those. But overall, my final thoughts. If you're thinking of getting a scroll saw and you don't know if you're going to like it, that for £88 or £87.97p, I think it is, from Axminster, that's the one you should go for. Because even if you don't like it, you're not that much out of pocket. But what you get for your money with a cast iron table and a cast iron base and the packs and the pack of. How do you pronounce them? Pegas, Pagas blades as well you get with it. And you get quite a few blades in there. Quite a number. They're all pinless. <laughs> so that's why you get your pin, pinless adapters. I'll have a go at making, uh, putting one of those in and see how I get on. So thanks for watching. Join me next time. Bye bye.